a Merle. And I'm a tool user. Let me uh, just tell you who's playing right now. It's Acuity, 1980. Isn't he amazing? But he's not a tool. <laughs> if I wasn't leading up to that. Let's cover some tools. I like this pot. I found it. It was in the trash. And the reason why it was in the trash is the handle broke off. It was spot welded uh, poorly. Uh, the death of the master craftsman. People don't want some, something that lasts forever. They want something cheap. But uh, I just want something that is an excellent tool. And this is a great one. Take it camping and if I lose it, oh well. No big deal. Oh, I found that in the trash. I found this in the forest. It's an excellent, uh, is it two quart? 40 ounces. Oh, it's a 40 ouncer. Do lots of hiking. You have to stay hydrated. I like the idea that it's, it's unlikely to be punctured while I'm out in the woods. Water bottle. Love it. Love to drink. Brings me to my coffee cup. This uh, came off a water bottle. Got a little uh, carabiner hook on it. It's a uh, vente. It's very big. I like coffee. Alright. Big coffee cup. Bungee cords. I have been known to stop on the road to go back and get a bungee cord. It's called pulling an earl. I likes me some rope. There's really no limit to what you could use rope for. We just went camping and we used rope as a belt, a sling, uh, to secure our gear and uh, to provide uh, a handy hanging point for our gear so it was within arm's reach inside our uh, our domicile. I like these things. Little solar powered lights. They're pretty inexpensive and they throw off a huge amount of light. I love it. It's always working, always working. I found this in the street too. You've probably seen this, uh, Probably oh, see me wrap this around my head in videos. I learned to wrap scarves around my head from my grandmother, and uh, so I'd, I'd wrap this around my head in winter, and people would say, Oh, you look like an Arab. You look like one of them terrorists. And I'm like, oh, I, I learned to wrap my head like this from my grandma. And they're like, Oh, I just called his grandma a terrorist. They felt appropriately bad. Check this out. It's a sarong. I love sarongs. They're lightweight. You'd uh, use them to stay warm or protect yourself from the sun or wrap them around your waist to protect your uh, ghibli bits. And uh, they can pack into a really small, real small bundle. I got this in Thailand, and I remember going over a giant rack of a million sarongs, and they're all going for like a dollar, and I picked out like maybe five, and I'm wondering why I didn't pick out 500. They're so awesome. I like hats. You know I like hats. It's one of my favorites, the black hat. It's been around forever, and, uh, one of my friends actually bought this for me. I had one like it, and I lost it. 
and I didn't have enough money at this point. I was so pro so broke, so poor, I couldn't afford a hat. And uh, one of my really good friends bought it for me because he knew I loved it. I appreciate that. Thank you, Nikos. I also like gloves. I have this thing called obey the glove. Like sometimes when you're like gesturing at somebody, they're like, you don't tell me what to do, but you wear a glove and you, you give them hand signals. Uh, they obey the glove. It's the darndest thing. Darndest thing. It's absolutely true. I like leather belts. Get like a, a two inch thick or a one and a half inch thick leather belt. I've had this for 20 years. Get yourself a leather belt. That's awesome. I love to read. Um, my first book. Uh, I mean, I read Dr. Seuss and stuff like that, but uh, from children's books, I went straight to Tolkien. And uh, what I like about this book, and what I like about uh, Patrick O'Brien, is uh, it, it seems to me that it's just about relationships. And if you pay attention to that, if you pay attention to how many different kinds of relationships there are, and how they function, how they don't function, their dysfunction, the more you pay attention to that in books, um, it might not necessarily make things easier for you in life, but I think it'll make a greater understanding for you in life. You might not always get along with people, but at least you'll understand where they're coming from. Found this in the street. This is, I like this too because it's super tiny and it's super warm, and you could totally you could wad it up into a tiny little ball and forget you're carrying it. Let's do another one, uh, another one from our cutie. Uh, I like knives. It's important, I think, if the more you carry a knife, uh, the more ways you find that you need to use it. I think that people limit themselves uh, by not carrying a knife. And I think that knives are seen as something bad. Um, but, you know, from the cowboy standpoint, um, a man without a knife is a man that limits himself and what he could do with his surroundings. Uh, you carry a knife around with you, and you're always using it. You always get, and then you wonder, how did I get along without it? Same thing with a flashlight. It's it's crazy bright. Uh, very small um, aircraft aluminum. Uh, kind of unbreakable, I guess. At least I haven't been able to break it. And I, give it I give it my best. Same thing, pocket knife. I mean, that's the thing. If you don't, if you don't want to carry like this, people freak out. Just have a little something, something small to put in your pocket. I don't like those clip knives where you can, like, if you either get, you should either have a full knife or you should have one that just tucks in your pocket. They kind of clip on the outside. I'm not down with that. I like these little baby military can openers. They weigh nothing. You can throw them through all your packs. And uh, I'm surprised how often I use it. Camera. Uh, record your life. What a great tool that is. Music. Though I'm not so sure I like the iPod anymore. I think an open source... Uh, uh, player might might have been better. The whole idea that I had to put everything into their format so they could have control over it. That's a pain. I don't like it. Make yourself a mask. You know, I like masks. It's a good tool. Um, I think sometimes it helps to express yourself um, by putting on a mask, oddly enough. I won't go into that too much, but I really do. I, you put on a mask and something about you is freed up and protected, and uh, I like it. I like it a lot. Don't mind me a mask. Uh, a watch that uh, sets itself, it responds to radio waves from a uh, military installation in Colorado, and it's, uh, it's sun-powered, so the sun and the military look after my watch. 
and all I have to do is tell what time it is. And the, the time I normally just want is uh, if I'm hungry or tired. That's normally the time I want, but uh, I don't, I don't, society is different. You know, I like carabiners. They're good. Uh, Nacho B gave me this. This is a shard. It's a ton of different tools. It's a little Phillips. Cutie's rocking it. This is really handy to have on your belt. I like some good scissors. Uh, they're a lot of times a lot better than having a knife. And uh, this little guy, he's got a uh, little doll. He's got a zippered belly. He's got a little hook. And uh, inside is like survival stuff, like uh, pen and paper and lighter and uh, different tools like that. Uh, another knife. Um, I like having it all stored away like that. And uh, then last is Evan. Many of you have probably seen Evan. He's, he's creepy, but uh, he's got uh, scissors. Um, he's got lots of yarn or thread. He's got a little, uh, little sewing kit, tons of different needles. Um, he's got pins in his feet and pins in his hands for pinning things up. He's, he's full of sewing gear. So Evan's very handy. If you have Evan with you, you know you can fix most things. All right, some tools. I'm a tool user. I love tools. I love things, oddly enough. I wish to be free of things, but yet I love things. Yes, I do. All right, boom. See you in the tubes, and thanks, Cutie, for uh, your excellent music.